Hope to see you soon. I've done it. I finished the hoverbot. All right. Forest land, here we come. What do we do about the aquanium? Should we stash it somewhere again? No. We better keep it with us. They said they've got an aquanium radar back in forest land. If that's true, trying to hide the aquanium's gonna be pointless. So that's how they always seem to know exactly where to find it. But wait, if that's true, it means that taking the aquanium with us will expose our own location. Would you mind showing me that aquanium for a second, please? Sure. Uh -huh. Their radar is probably just a receiver. One attuned specifically to the wavelength of Aquanium. Versus sending out radio pulses that bounce off the Aquanium and back to them. Exactly! Which means all we have to do is... There! This should block the Aquanium emissions. I see, I see. You mean you understand how it works? Of course not. But whatever they just did means that Radar can't find it now, right? Right. Well, that takes care of my concerns. Time to go. Yeah! Just you wait, Forest Land Army! Why exactly did they need Anne to show them the way if they have Radar? Probably because they can't call back home while they're in Sandland. This gap in their communication network is one of the few advantages we have on our side. Subterranean lake ruins has got to be awfully dark and damp, right? Just what we demons like. You ever been to Forest Land, old man? No, never. We weren't even allowed to go anywhere remotely near the border. Zayu wanted to keep us away from it for some reason. When you run into enemies in the desert, take... Taking a head count is a good first step. Can't we just pick them off one by one? If there are only a few, sure. But with large groups, you risk getting surrounded. Ha. Sounds more complicated than I thought. might be able to reach these inaccessible spots one day. Let's try to remember this spot.
Make sure to check your gear every now and then. Whoops. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Got it. I'll give him a look. and cool down here in this cave. Yeah, looks like people have been here before. You gotta wonder what for. There's nowhere to hide in this open desert, and the army's keeping close watch on the area. Whoever they are, they mean business. Here we go. make a living crafts agriculture hunting trade it's pretty varied and some bad eggs resort to thievery of course we steal from humans sometimes too that's nothing to be proud of unless you're stealing from the army that is <laughs> Nice and cool down here in this cave. Yeah, looks like people have been here before. You gotta wonder what for. There's nowhere to hide in this open <laughs> desert, and the army's keeping close watch on the area. Whoever they are, they mean business. your footing when you're climbing up to high places. Yeah, obviously. I'll be careful though. Run into enemies in the desert. Taking a head count is a good first. Step. Can't we just pick them off one by one?
So, these subterranean ruins, how do we get there? We should just have to keep going south past the southwestern checkpoint. We're sinking into the water. This won't work. Prince, we're sinking into the water. This won't work. Prince, we're sinking into the water. This won't work. We're sinking into the water. This won't work. vehicle that could jump. If you ever think you might be lost, you should check the map. Yeah, getting lost and having a backtrack would be a pain. The desert gets awfully chilly at night. Take precautions to ensure you don't lose too much body heat. We demons will be just fine. It's you humans who should worry. True. We seem to be more vulnerable to pretty much everything. We'll be careful.
Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Got it. I'll give him a look. The environment here is harsh, even by Sandland's usual standard. We'll probably find traveling merchants on the main roads. They roam over Sandland, peddling their wares to all comers. Fellow travelers, huh? If we find any, let's stop and compare notes with them. Intrigued though. Gotta make the most of the journey. No holding back.
Maybe it's just a matter of seeing so much water here, but this place seems almost holy to me. Blech, you're making me want to barf. Ah, my head hurts. Mine too. Huh? It looks awfully deep. Let's use the hovercraft. Whoop. What the? It's right on the other side, but we've got no way to reach it like this. If only we could raise the water level. Oh, a suspicious lever. Let's give it a pull. Woo -hoo! Water level raised. Flip that other lever, and I bet we can cross. Here we go, come on! Let's head on over! really rising, isn't it? Better get over there. Here 
Here we go. Looks like the passage continues, but the water's too high to keep going. It looks awfully deep. Let's use the hovercraft.
here we go. Dead end. This seems to be an altar. <laughs> hey, check this out. There's something here. Something round. Not another urn, is it? Ugh, it's used. Looks like a dead end. Nothing to do but turn around, I guess. There's water running down that hole! Think it's a water slide or something? Very funny, Grains. That's just a drainage channel. But it'll be a really fun ride, right? Yeah, absolutely not! I thought I was a goner. What's wrong? I'm worried about what's been making all that racket. Let's call it out and see what it is. Huh? Hey! Come on now! Prince, please stop this! Huh? Done it now. It, it's looking 
in this way. What do we do, Prince? We're cornered. Say it's more of a squid, don't you think? Does it really matter? Hurry up and take it out, Prince. Let the beast have it. Formidable beast! What a formidable beast! Prince, watch out for attacks from the water! The bulls seem to be hurting it! Don't let up! Don't let up! Thank <laughs> you. 
Prince. Where the heck am I? I don't recognize this smell. Ugh, this air is way too pure for my taste. I feel sick. Where's Thief and the old man? Got lost, huh? Looks like it's Biel's to the rescue. Come on out. It's useless to hide from a fiend. A fiend? A, a real demon? Well, well. Just look at all of you crawling out of the woodwork. You really are a demon. What are demons doing in forest land? Huh? We're in forest land? Wow, this is awesome! I've never seen a demon before! You think this is a safari? Surround them! We can't just stand by and let these filthy demons invade our home! Oh boy, not this again. Don't tell me you guys are part of the forest land army too. Nah, doesn't matter. If it's a fight you want, I'll give you one. Watch out! The demon touches you. Parroting that epi guy. Typical forest land army goon. No! He touched me! It's all over! This... this is the end for me! Quit your whining! We have to protect our country! We can't let these despicable monsters corrupt our home! Say that again, you little... White Prince! Old man! Thief! Looks like you ran a little wild. That'll teach him to mess with the Fiend Prince. I say they could do with more punishment. <laughs> Please, I beg you, forgive them. And who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Longo, their commander. He helped me and Thief when we washed ashore. We owe him. Huh. My apologies for my youthful comrade's rudeness, Prince Beelzebub. Bongo! How can you bow your head to a demon? That's enough, Udo. Your disrespect toward our guests beggars belief. Yes? You mean these demons? 
You're not thinking of recruiting them to the resistance. The re resistance? Come. Let us discuss this further on the way. My sincere apologies, Mr. Beelzebub. Many in Forestland fear demons, I'm afraid. Don't worry about it. That's nothing new. Resistor buddies, right? Those Forest Land Army creeps kidnapped her. Yes, Mr. Rao and Mr. Thief told me as much. Our scouts are monitoring Rosetta's tank brigade to try to determine the princess's location. Once they discover where she was taken, we will devote all our forces to the task of freeing her. Fighting on uneven terrain, always gain the high ground before your opponent. It's easy to attack from above, but a royal pain hits someone from low ground. Ooh, good advice. I'll give that a try. By the way, who are you, exactly? You seem to be very well informed. I'm... someone who failed to protect his kind and just king in his time of need. The most I managed to do for him was flee with his young, innocent daughter. Just a feeble old man, really. I've been wondering. Coups don't happen out of the blue. Pulling one off requires careful planning. Were there no signs? No. What exactly was Bred hoping to achieve through his coup d'etat? Anne thought he just wanted to seize more territory for Forest Land, but is that really...? Yeah, that's something the four of us would like to know more about, too! The Swimmers? What are you doing here? What was that about how you'd never join forces with us? Or that line about how we'd never meet again, hmm? You pipe down! Are you gonna turn down a request from an old comrade? Huh? So this old man was in your band of thieves? No! I was in the rebel army! You mean to tell me you're that long ago? <laughs> That's correct, General Shiva. I know how formidable an enemy you make. I'm glad to have you as an ally instead. The, the reason he was so strong is because he had us swimmers on his side. Papa, your face is all red. You keep quiet, Sonny. Now, 
Tell us what Bread's up to. His goal is to gather up the last five extant Aquanium capsules in the world. And use them to restart Garum, the Flying Fortress. The Flying Fortress? The former Peachy Mothership, which landed in Flatland so many years ago. After being modified for battle, it's said to have been the world's most powerful warship. It's unclear how much of this is true. But rumor has it that it took only three days for its terrible weapons to send Flatland, the world's wealthiest, most advanced nation, to the bottom of the ocean. So, it's better than even Zeus' fortress? Without a doubt, if its capabilities require five times the Aquanium to power. W what will they do if they ever manage to get it working again? Well, Bread will have the power to bring the world to its knees. To hell with that! After breaking free of one oppressor, I'm not bending to another! I share that sentiment, which is why we... Longo! Excuse me, it seems I have urgent business to attend to. I will probably be occupied for some time, so why not rest up in the meantime? We'll take you up on that. We're awful tired from swimming here. Let's make the rounds of the camp. We should take the chance to gather whatever intelligence we can. All right. Okay. those demons from before. Remember me? Not really. It's pretty hard to tell all you humans apart. Hmm. So demons have difficulty distinguishing humans, do they? What are you doing? Taking notes? Well, um, you know, knowledge is power, especially for wimps like me. If you're weak, what are you doing in the resistance? I'm a royalist. I want King Jam back in charge of this country. Everyone here would say the same. And that's reason enough to lay down your life for him? I'll never understand humans. Hmm, fascinating. So demons struggle with the idea of self-sacrifice. Why, that's not true at all. I'd gladly give my life for King Lucifer. What about for me? <laughs> I, I suppose I'd at least lay down my whiskers for you. Okay, probably should have seen that coming. Uh, sorry about earlier. <laughs> A laudable attitude. Cowed by the prince's might, are you? Don't get ideas! I'm apologizing only because Longo told me to. Are you apologizing or trying to pick a fight? <sighs> Sorry! Okay, okay, I think that's enough. By the way, do you know anything about the Flying Fortress Garum? Well, I'm just a new recruit, so I can't say I know much. Udo says activating it would be like restarting the war that nearly destroyed the world 50 years ago. I have a hard time seeing it as some terrifying doomsday weapon, but if Udo says so... So it's capable of destruction that would make the bomb that all but wiped out the Peachy look like a firecracker.
Bien, where's Longo? What's wrong? You look agitated. We found the princess. What? Say no more. Longo's in the command center. Heard that, Prince? Let's go see Longo. Sure. Dan? Yes. Rosetta's tank brigade has stopped at End Mill Base, to the northeast. The Resistance will set out in pursuit with all possible haste. If you're willing to lend us a hand, please head to the base as well. <laughs> 